Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be installing Karuda Linux as the second one in my list of Arch Linux best distros. Um, Karuda Linux is a uh, not so old for, uh, Linux distribution yet, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, and it has a specific look and feel to it. Um, do I like it? Not really, so probably I will be changing things around. But it has a lot of attraction with uh, a lot of people the way, it, because of the way it looks. Um, so we're going to be installing Corona Linux. First of all, we need to be sure that we have internet connection, of course. Sorry about that. And I'm going to click on connect. And as you can see, we are connected. So that's good. Now we're going to install Karuda Linux. You have two options. You have one in the welcome screen, but you also have the big button here. So you probably won't miss it. And we're going to be American English. Next, I am still in the Netherlands. And we're going to do erase disk. I don't need swap. I'm going to do next. I'm going to put in our credentials. And we're going to click next, install, and install now. So it's creating partitions now. And it should go ahead and install Corona Linux. Well, this will take a while between. Uh, 10 and 15 minutes, so I'm gonna pause it here and be back when it's done. Okay, we're already done. It took about three to four minutes, so let's click on restart now and click on done. So I'm gonna remove the USB drive now. And you won't be seeing this, but I am welcomed by Karuda boot screen. And from now on, you can see what's going on. So this is the, the splash screen that you get. And here we can log in. So let me log in. Let me set my screen that I have everything good set up. And as you can see, I'm asked for uh, my Wi-Fi account password again. But at least remember that I was connecting to this one. Click OK. And then you're welcomed by this. Welcome to Karuda Linux. And it asks you if you want to go through a setup assistant. So this is pretty nice that you get a setup assistant. Uh, not sure what happened with my wallpaper. So let's correct that. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're back to the default one. Is this a default one? No, this was the default one. So this is the default one. So do you want to do the setup assistant? So we can click next. Yes. Update your system, recommended, so yes, we want to update our system, put in our password. Can I rate the mirrors again, so creating a new mirror list, that's good.
And it's going to start downloading the updates. Sorry. So we'll proceed. There are a couple of uh, 237 updates, so that's quite a big uh, update. I'm, I downloaded this uh, image uh, two days ago, so I didn't expect that we have so many updates, but okay. So the system is updated, so press enter to continue. So it should continue with the setup widget again. Start post installation widget, select your favorites from a lot of commonly used packages. I'm going to choose no, you can choose yes, but I just uh, like I did with uh, the previous uh, one, Arch Linux, just want to do the basic testing on the basic installation of Karuda Linux. So I'm going to choose no here. And then we have the default uh, system. Welcome. So you have your Karuda Assistant here, Karuda Setting Manager, Karuda Gamer, Karuda Assistant, and Karuda Boot Options. Let's go to the Settings Manager. So we have a hardware configuration, the kernel. So you can here choose your kernel if you want to do an install. Language packages. Um, User accounts, time and date, keyboard settings, and your locale settings. So I'm going to quit here. Garuda Assistant is what we already saw, right? So this is, oh no, this is something different. So system update, reinstall all packages, add repositories, refresh your mirror list, remove database log, clear package cache, clear caches, remove orphans, and refresh keyrings. ButterFS Snipper, so you can use uh, the ButterFS Assistant. The ButterFS Snipper function has moved to a new application named ButterFS Assistant. Let's launch this, put in our password. So by default, it's installing ButterFS. So you have ButterFS, you have the Snipper, so you can take a new snapshot. Let's take a new snapshot. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, already done. Snapper settings. And you can schedule it. And you have the butterfly's maintenance. So, very good. System components. Uh, we're running Pipewire. We can use check support if needed. Uh, install David. Uh, install Asian fonts. Virtualization, we can install Third Manager. Uh, we can set up the user in the lib group. VirtualBox, if you uh, want to have your VirtualBox, your firewall D or UFW. UFW is installed by default. We can enable it here, so that's good. Uh, Samba, so this is your file sharing and your video. So Bluetooth enabled, users in group, GStreamer codex. So let's apply this, put in my password. Firewall is also something that I would advise you to have up and running, of course. Then settings, 
default shell. We can set the shell to ZSH. This is something I like. DNS, this is okay. You can H block enabled. So this is for your uh, ransomware. Uh, it's nice that you have this available here. Uh, performance tweaks. Power save tweaks. System specs. And other diagnosis. So... Very nice. So, Karuda Gamer, I'm not going to look at that because I'm not a gamer. Karuda Network Assistance, I think everything is okay. And Karuda Boot Options, let's see what's in there. Oh, how many seconds, Karuda Linux. Oh, this is the basic of Grub. Then you have the partition manager at the remove software. Let's see what it does. It's opening Octopi. So Octopi is installed by default as your graphical uh, package installer. System cleaner. Let's see what this program is. Uh, it's going to be installing Staser. Uh, let's let's install it. So Staser is your uh, dashboard here. You can enable a lot of things if you want to. So your package caches, you clean up all the those kind of things. It's a nice program though. So you can have a lot of things that you can use on the system. You can see here the performance. This is uh, CPU. Um, your disk writes, your memory. So we're using 2.6 gig at this moment. According to this, I'm going to quit it. And I think that was the welcome screen. So what do we have here? We have the user switcher. Uh, you can use it, this one. You have your time and date. If you click on it, you have your agenda. Your Wi-Fi networks. Display configuration. Bluetooth. Your battery. Your volume level. Stays are here. Uh, not sure what this is. James DP. D James DSP for Linux. Run in background. Yes, minimize this in way. Crash reports. Uh, okay. This is something for reporting stuff. Notifications and your network. Then on the left side, you have your menu with all your stuff. At the bottom you have uh, a bar and I think this is edit doc, that's latte doc. So both of them are latte doc. So you can see the top bar and the, the lower bar, both of them are latte doc. Um, I'm not really a user of a doc. Um, at least I don't use it as much. And probably I will delete it, but that's for a later video. Um, it looks like we have two docs here. I'm not sure what happened here, but if you go over it, you see something like two docs. If we go to Dolphin,
if you use your suspects on the left side, so your home directory is still into the trash, your network, your recent files, your documents, so everything is in here. Uh, they have chosen to do natural scrolling. I'm not really sure if I would like that. And I don't like the icon set that they're using, but most of you like it, according to DistroWatch, because you really like this distro. If I go to a terminal, it's currently very high in memory usage, but we should see that after a clean reboot, but it's 1.5 gig at this moment. So it's, it's not a light weight distribution. And if you look at this at the background, you have the background and light background or image in the background. I don't really like the color set, but that's me. I'm going to be changing that very soon. So this was the basic setup of Garuda Linux. I liked a couple of things. The, the installer, of course, is a simple uh, installer. Um, not different from the other ones. Uh, I like the, the, the setup assistant. So that's good. Uh, I like the welcome screen. Um, and it shows you a lot of things uh, to go through. Um, overall, I think it's uh, quite heavy on the usage. But we'll see what happens in the next video where we'll be doing the uh, performance testing and the security testing of this machine uh, with Carudo Linux. So I'll uh, leave it at this. See you in the next one, guys. Uh, please like and comment on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Have fun with Linux.